Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Larone with Jay Larone Presents, where we go over the facts, foolishness, and black female fuckery. You guys, if you haven't, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, share. Um, we got another video here from Pink Book Lessons, and this is a, another case of women, older women, working at the school, being predators to, to young boys, right? Another uh, female at this Miami high school who's a secretary was arrested for you know coming on to a to a young 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 high school student right so and in this case she being a secretary she wasn't a teacher but she is a secretary so i mean we've seen it time and time again where these older women are going after these young boys right you know done hit the wall and can't find a man you know what i'm saying to <laughs> and, you know a man their age who want them so they're going after these young boys and again really not getting into too much trouble um and this young lady also tried to blame the whole situation on the high school student so you guys let's go ahead let's get into this video real quick again this is pink book lessons fair use fair use well here's a new one who knew that the school secretaries of the 2020s are also now desperately throwing themselves and she didn't get caught throwing it at the principal not the dean not the football coach not the janitor or the student's fathers or any other man they could find on the campus. This time, the wicked Jezebel was throwing herself at the student. And I gotta be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if this woman wasn't pitching it to everybody, all of the above and more. Nasty summer, bitch. Dade County High School was arrested for tampering with a student. This lady right here was working in the school system while allegedly also working on the boys at the school. It's so disgusting. Women can literally go- Stop it. Get some help. Why is she trying to get attention from a teenage boy? I'm sorry, I will never understand this. We're going to get into the details, but first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Miami Day, if you're watching, let me know below in the comments. Wednesday, October 18th, 2023, Vanessa Vigil, a secretary at Miami Killing Senior High School, was arrested. On the paperwork, the arrest agency is listed as the Miami-Dade School's police. She was charged with one felony count, offense against a student by an authority figure, and five counts of misdemeanor battery. Vanessa is 35 years old. She'll be 36 next month and she tried to give a 16-year-old boy her catfish nuggets. This woman is over twice his age. She's what literally old enough to be his mama, and she's up there throwing herself at him. Luckily, one time she was even caught on surveillance, so she couldn't lie and say she didn't do it. The victim met the secretary in September, and for weeks, she had been making inappropriate advances to this underage boy as he worked in the office as a student aide. In the report, they called it being, quote, flirtatious. Look at how they describe this when it's a woman. Flirtatious? Like she's she the girl- She belongs to the streets. Oh, this predatory flamingo was spreading her wings and no matter how delicate we have to be with the situation, this bird was 1,000% out of order. Yes, she Vanessa was. was up there asking the boy for his phone number. She was calling him handsome touching him and get this vanessa told the boy that she loved him i mean she was spreading that manipulation wow. on him really thick how you a grown woman gonna tell a, a, a high school student you love him well i tell y'all women are a trip y'all y'all out there bad y'all y'all are down bad really bad it's crazy trying to butter him up and groom him the victim was not flattered by this creepy creep he was disgusted and really uncomfortable because he was working under her. 
Vanessa was the one in charge of him in the school office. This went on for three weeks. She was making affectionate remarks and inappropriate physical contact. During a September 21st incident, as the victim bent over to retrieve a dropped pencil, Vanessa stood behind him and tapped his lower back with her nails. She I was in high school with you. Vanessa also gave the student a quote, dirty pizza slice keychain that was attached to her house keys. But whatever it is, I already know she's out of order. It's something that she shouldn't be giving to no teenager as a grown woman old enough to be his mama. On one occasion, Vanessa touched a student's face with both. Yeah, women like this man need to be locked up under the jail, right? Because like I said, if we all know if it was a man on the other end, Yo, he would be gone for good. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be no no parole. No, I mean, you know what I'm saying? He he would be gone. Registered sex offender and everything. But these women somehow get a pass for all this mess. Hands called him, quote, so handsome and expressed her love for him. During another incident, Vanessa told him to follow her to a storage closet in the main office where she touched his behind. When she did that, he got so uncomfortable the victim had a panic attack in the bathroom where he was seen visibly upset. And thankfully, you had some other students who witnessed some of this, and they did the right thing. They all told on this filthy flamingo. So kudos to those kids. And let me tell you why I'm so glad they had his back. Do you know when police confronted this nasty 304? She tried to flip it on him and lied. Yes, she tried to turn into a victim and instead lied on the student saying that he was the one who was harassing her, talking about he called her pretty. Well, one, other people at the school knew Vanessa was lying on him and they had his back. Also, one instance was caught on surveillance. So yeah, she tried to lie on him, but surveillance showed that he was telling the truth and Vanessa was the one inappropriately touching him, not the other way around. After testimony from the other students and the video corroborated the victim's accounts to police, Vanessa, aka Catfish Nugget, was taken into custody. A secretary at a South Florida high school has been arrested. Police say she tried to pursue a romantic relationship with a student. Local 10's Cody Weddle is live in Southwest Miami Dade with the disturbing details on this one. Cody. And Chrissy, police are saying that the school secretary just would not stop with her advances. That's even though on one occasion she made the 16 year old boy so uncomfortable that he says he had a panic attack. A 35 year old office in so senior high school arrested facing felony charges. Miami Dade police say Vanessa Vigil continually persisted in pursuing a romantic relationship with a 16 year old student. The alleged flirtatious behavior made the boy feel like he was having a panic attack on one occasion. He described feeling very nervous and uncomfortable, according to the arrest report. Vigil's advances included unwanted touching. In one incident, as the student bent down to pick up something, she allegedly began tapping his lower back with her nails and said, quote, I would have bagged you if I was in high school. Parents and others with ties to the school shocked to hear the allegations. It's pretty disturbing. It's pretty disturbing, um, but it happens with people in power roles. It happens a lot. Police say yep. the secretary touched the boy a total of five times, asked for his phone number, gave him a keychain, and even told him she loved him. In one encounter, she allegedly began to caress his face using both of her hands and running her fingernails over the victim's cheeks. The student worked as an office aide and therefore had frequent contact with Vigil, according to police. I'm just shocked. I, I never imagined that that would happen here at school. My children have, both of my children have gone here. Vigil now faces five charges of battery and offenses against a student by an authority figure. And all of that alleged inappropriate touching happened on the arms, on the face, and also on the lower back. Police are also saying that at least one of these incidents was captured on security video. They also say that some other students also observed some of this behavior. The next day after she was arrested, this lady was only given a $1,500 bond. That's it. And we already know that she's not going to be punished as harsh as a man. 
Nope. You even had some folks in the comments trying to shame the boy and using their trusted sign language tactic, putting the ABC label on him all because he didn't want this woman touching him. What? Imagine if all the girl victims... Y'all hear that shit? So they gonna blame the boy and say he gay, that he shouldn't have said nothing. That Man, these my boy, y'all women, y'all support the most devious acts, but then y'all try to switch everything up on men. Always projecting, always. Victims are called gay if a grown man two or three times their age quote, flirted with them or touched them and they didn't like it. Can anybody tell me in history where a female victim was called gay because she didn't want to be violated? Right. See, this is what I'm talking about. And this is how I know most modern women who think like that are disturbingly narcissistic. Nasty summer, bitch. These flamingos to touch him or if he's not interested in them. The first thing they do is pull out their shaming tactic. Mm -hmm. Like who told them that anybody who didn't want them, something had to be wrong with them. It's really sick. This false level of value they place on that. themselves that if somebody wasn't interested in their advances, that something must be wrong with that man. They really get offended. Turn a woman down and see her demeanor. They cannot take rejection. But this right here is on a whole nother level. This woman is predatory. All this touching, even if it didn't go beyond that, it's going to get a man a prison sentence and he's going to forever be on that SO list. But how many of you want to bet this woman will never see a day in the state penitentiary? Nope. Not a day. There are years and years of these cases in Florida. Usually teachers, not secretaries. But there's been so many cases over decades where these female teachers had relations with these students and they never went to prison. The most I've ever seen in a case was a woman going to the county jail for a couple of months. That's it. But I bet Catfish Nugget will never be a part of the Florida Department of Correction system. This is what they're allowed to do. They violate your space, they tamper with students, and they are never held to the same level of accountability as a man in that same position. Don't know how long Vanessa's been working at this school, but she had another misdemeanor battery charge five years ago, and they still hired her. Or if she was already employed by the district, they didn't fire her. I don't care what anybody says, Pass it's online. not different because the victim is a boy. In fact, the same things that happen to female victims, it happens to male victims. But male children, teenagers, and even grown men, they're brainwashed into thinking that this is okay. And so many of them never tell anybody. A man can go 30, 40, 50 years and not say a word. And listen, I'm not about to argue with any of you ignorant, filthy, predatory penguins in the comments. So don't even try it on this one. Essay is essay. And when you groom males back, like this, back. it's just as damaging as it is for females. It can destroy their future relationship, their lives, overall health, especially mentally. It's not cool and should not be tolerated. All I can say is watch out for your daughters. Watch out for your sons. Make sure you teach them boundaries and what's inappropriate, how to protect their space, and what to do if somebody did something they should not be doing. This is not cool at all. Watch out for them at church, at school, and even at home. And when they come and tell you something is going on, do something about it. As far as Catfish Nugget, they need to put her in prison, lock her up, and make her register as a SO. Facts, facts. That, and that's what I just said. They, they, she, she should be registered as a sex offender because they will make a guy do it. You know, and one thing I've noticed that a lot of women, you know, they when something happened to a man or a boy, they always say, well, you, you a man, you should be OK with it. a young boy, 16, 17 year old, year old in high school and, and, and is getting harassed by a woman like that. That's still not, you know, what I'm saying that still that still plays on his mentality, on his mental. You know what I'm saying? So you can't say just because he's 16 or 17 and a woman that's in her 30s is trying to holler at him that that's a good thing because it's not like his, his brain is not fully developed yet right you know and um yeah it, it's crazy how they they always try to bash men and and put men as being a victim because oh if you don't want this woman then something wrong with you oh you gotta be you know you gotta be gay because you're a guy and and if a woman try to holler at you and if you don't want to talk to her something wrong with you. that's crazy too man it's all this shame like all this sign language sign language all this shaming and, and making you feel guilty for having, you know, standards. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if I don't want you, chick, I don't want you. That don't mean I'm gay because I don't want you. It's just that you're not my type. And being that this boy's in high school, what it... 
he has no business being with a 30 some year old woman when he's about 16 or 17 years old there's no there's no point in that right y'all women need to be able to find you you <laughs> y'all need to be able to find men that that's your age in your age range but a lot of you can't because you have all these certain criteria and standards and then but yet you run out the a, a 16 or 17 year old but you don't want to do 50 50 but yet you go out the 16 17 year old he can't provide nothing for you nothing but some d and i and the majority of the time that's all y'all perverted women want is d from little young boys which is stupid you know y'all need to just go ahead and stop it get some help yeah y'all need help but people Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think about this. This <laughs> what, what people lessons call it? This um catfish nugget. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know what y'all think, man, about these women um being predators, going after these little boys like that, man. Cause that's a shame. Um, drop some comments down below. It's your boy Jay Laron. Please be good to yourself. By all means, let's be good to one another. And I catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn, ain't that great I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy, oh Hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all oh, And this is just the beginning I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe? To play, to claim a brand new name, oh And I ain't gonna lie to you I'm a bit nervous that I might screw Everything up that I've ever done But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that My miss, gotta find what I'm good at I guess I look here, look there Over where am I scared, where am I at? I gotta make it in this life Whatever makes me happy, know I'm doing things right Sipping in the summer on a goose and Sprite Or find a nightclub for the end of the night, oh What you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? And do you believe we can do anything? What you gon' do for it? How you